Hi everyone, in this video we will uh, connect our React app with MySQL database. I have a folder open in VS Code editor React MySQL. Now I will create two folders inside this. The first one will be the backend, then the second one frontend. In frontend we will later make that. First we will um, create the setup or the environment for our backend uh, database. So for the backend to connect with the MySQL, I will use Node.js Express framework for that. Node.js is using a backend language, and I will use Express. Express is a backend uh, framework. Then Express is the framework of Node.js. Okay, so I will use that. It means that I am using Node.js for connecting with the MySQL database, and for the frontend React.js. So let's create the environment for our um, Node.js. So for that, I will come to the command line. So here, I will just move to the backend folder. Inside that, I will first write npm init minus y. Press enter. After writing this command, it will create a package.json folder inside that. After that, we will install our express. npm install express, which is the framework of node.js and the mysql. To connect with the MySQL and also the course cross origins, which means that we can access our uh, Node API uh, in our React app, and also Node One. It is used to automatically refresh our server whenever we make some changes in that. So let's press enter. It will install all these packages. <laughs> Yeah, the package has been installed inside that. Now to write our uh, node.js code, so for that I will create one another file by the name of, for example, server.js. Okay, so we installed nodemon, okay, this one later. So to use this, we will come here to the package.json to this script area. Okay, script area is under this, I will write start nodemon server.js. Server.js is our call. It will automatically start this file whenever we start our backend. So before writing code for the server side, we will create our React app. So let's uh, come here to the back CD, back to the React MySQL folder. Inside that, I will write. So now I will write npm. I will use the um, width to create the um, MySQL to create React app npm create with okay at latest it will we will use with for creating react app yeah the project name for example front end enter and the package name yeah, let's assign the same name and which framework would you like to use you would like to use react and you would like to use TypeScript or JavaScript, but we are using JavaScript. Please enter. Yeah, that has created. So now let's move to the CT front end. After that, write npm install. Yeah, it will install React app now. Yes, our project has created successfully. So now uh, let's move to the MySQL database. You may have installed MySQL and your system separately, MySQL Workbench, but I am using ZAM server, my PHP, my admin. Yeah, let's start MySQL here. And also let's come to the Apache to run that. Yeah, I will write localhost. We will move to the PHP, my admin to create a database in MySQL. Yeah, it is our database, okay. We have all these databases, okay. So now just I will uh, use uh, this test database, okay. We can create another one also by pressing this button, but I will use that later. So now let's write, first of all, our code for the backend in the backend in the server.js file first we will import the express express is the framework of node.js which is a backend language so let's write const express 
is equal to require express and after that comes to my sql is equal to require uh, my sql after that const cars is equal to require cars cars origin we give across origin let's yeah const after that let's initialize express const up is equal to express we will call express method and we will use now course up that use course after that let's create an api okay to get something to the uh, console okay so i will use up that git and this uh, this is the route and after that uh, we will get a request and result and here I will just return result JSON from backend side. And now let's run our uh, app should be run on which port. So for that I will light up that lesson. Here we will assign the port number, for example 80, 81. And here we will create a function. We will get uh, we will print a message console log listen yeah now let's run our server okay so for that let's come to the back end after coming to the CD back end here we will write npm start yes CD come back CD back end after that npm start it will start our bucket yeah after starting that let's come here to the local host 8081 port 8081 port see from back inside we printed that message here okay this is the message that we have printed so now let's move to our front end before front end we will create an api to get data from our mysql database to create connection with the mysql database we will write here we will create an object const db is equal to mysql that create connection and we will pass our properties here for the mysql database first the host we are using a local host and after that the um, user the user is the root with us and the password we didn't set any password on our database uh, in the database which database we are using so let's come here which database let's use the test one we have tables inside that okay inside that we have the users in the users we don't have any record let's come to the student we don't have any records here also let's use the CRUD one CRUD database inside CRUD we have student yeah in the student we have just one record let's come to users we have three records here okay i will use this database table users CRUD database users uh, table so the database name is CRUD now let's write api to get data from database we will write up that post up that git our uh, route would be users and let's get an arrow function the request and the response inside that we will write our query first first const sql is equal to select steric from users let's run our query db dot query and we will pass our SQL first of all then we will get an error here arrow function we will create inside that we will get an error at the data that is the response so now if there was any error so what it should do it will return json uh, sorry result.json error else it will return result.json data
So now let's move to our front end. So let's come to the front end. Let's here create another one. Here we will move to the front end. Uh, after that, we will let npm start. It will start our um, React project front end. Uh, npm run do. Okay, npm run do. We will, we will use npm run do. So it will start the server. Let's move to this URL. Yeah, it is the default React project which is created with Git. Okay, so now let's remove all these things and we will write our own code. Let's come here to the Piplet, to the SRC, and to the off. I will remove all these things and also come here to the app.jsx. I'll remove all these things. Let's come here to the index.cs. Remove all these things. Inside app.jsx, we will write our code. Let's write React Functional Component Export. And after that, we will get our data. I will create a button by pressing that button we will display our uh, data inside uh, table or we will use use effect hook okay to get the data but whenever we run our app we will get the data using use effect hook okay it will run at the first use effect hook inside that create an arrow function and let's try the array dependency here here we will use um, Pitch method, okay. And here we will assign our route from which route we would like to access our data. This is the route slash users, okay. All right, now let's copy this. So let's write users, okay. See, we got our users, all of our users. So we will use this route. Let's write it here. And after that, we will get a response. And we will insert that to the JSON format. After that, uh, we will just console that. Okay, console dot log data. If there was any error, we will catch that. So first, we will run our app. We are getting our data in the console or not let's come here let's come to our react app come to the console let's come here to the console we got our data okay this is the data that we got so now we will print this data so first we will create a, a, an app uh, a state variable const data set data is equal to use state this is an array type with us and instead of consoling we will just assign our data to that variable okay we will write set data and we will pass our data to that now let's frame that data let's create uh, um, a table inside the table we will keep t head and inside that t head what we would like to print let's come here id name code and email Let's print all of them. ID, name, phone, and email. After that, let's come here to the T body. And here we will print now our data. So we will use the data dot map map function. We will get the data and we will print that here. Um, we will just write first of all our tr table row and our key would be i so let's write our i here also it is the index for our table row for the first element then we will write td inside td we will print our data d dot id then d dot name and after that and email let's save it and let's assign some design to this sorry inline style okay 
R in is equal to 50 pixel. Let's come here. See, we got our data. We printed our data on our React app. So it was all about connecting our um, React JS with the MySQL database through Nurgat JS. So I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video and comment down. Thanks for watching.